What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Mario 64 DS. Today, my friends, we're gonna be taking on your favorite evil turtle ever, Bowser. It was either between saving Bowser or battling Luigi. I actually mixed that up. It was either between saving Luigi or battling Bowser, and as you can see, I'm going to battle Bowser. It goes to show how great of a brother I am, you know, I, I prefer battling uh, evil doers rather than uh you know saving my brother from being enslaved by ghosts and whatnot but anyways this actually used to creep me out as a kid i don't know why every time i used to play the game i used to always wonder why it went from peach to bows i was like man they deceived me man i i wanted it to be peach but nah it's, it's it's just bowser playing tricks on us you've stepped right into my trap just as i knew you would i warn you friend watch your step i'm not your friend bowser who the heck said we're friends man we don't have that kind of relationship dude don't ever call me your friend again, ever, in your entire life. But anyways, there are actually two stars that we have to obtain in this area. Uh, this one's a red coin one, and then there's a switch star. The switch star is the new one that they added into the game. As you uh, probably know, there are 30 stars that were added into this game that were additional power stars that had nothing to do with the original 120. So, uh, out of the 30, there's one in here that's a switch star. I think in each level, they actually threw in a switch star. And then in some levels, they threw in the silver stars. So, so, when you really think about it, 30 stars isn't that much, to be honest, considering how many levels there are in the game. There's there's well over, like, 10 or something, so we're good. But anyways, I actually get kind of nervous, though, when I play, like, levels like this for some reason. Just because the, the platforms and the walkways that I walk on are just very thin and narrow. They don't have any, you know, fences or any anything to guard me from falling, you know? Even though this is a, a game and Mario is a fictional character, I still fear for this guy. I don't want him to fall. I mean, come on, that's just a black hole down there. It's something straight from space. I actually don't know where the heck we are. This is just Bowser's Dark World. Hey, it's a Goomba. Hey, I got a joke for you, Goomba. Come here. Let me t let me tell you the joke. Come here, dude. There you go. What'd you think? You think it was funny? I don't, I don't think he was laughing. I think he's actually very upset. I don't know, though, but he's probably gone now. Anyways, this is the sixth uh, red coin. Oh, man, I have to get two more. Now, the last, like, one is probably the worst one to get just because it just sucks. This entire area, I'm going to just go very slow. I'm going to take my time, so don't judge me, man. Don't judge me if I'm not speed running through this like some of your favorite speed runners because that's not what I am, man. I, I don't do that kind of stuff. Okay, so I got to just... Uh, yeah, of course. That would just, that would just you know, straight into that wall. Didn't even work. Okay, okay. Why is that ball bomb there? Are you really going to try to tell me where the red coins are? I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory. Okay, and I got to go back. Okay, and actually, I think I can make it, yeah, from here. But for some reason, that other platform didn't really work. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fall. Don't fall. This is this is what I'm saying. This is why it's a little nerve-wracking to do this part. Oh, come on. Really, lack of two? That's the best camera angle you got, man. That was the best camera angle you had for me, man. Uh, that is just, that is ridiculous. I'm going to have to fire you and hire someone else, like Toadette. She's a pretty reliable person, I got to say. You know, after playing Paper Jam, Toadette has grown on me a little bit. You know, I feel like she is, uh, she, she's a strong person, you know? Unlike, uh, unlike everybody else in this game. Like, if you're with Toadette, you, you kind of feel secure, because, you know, she has a plan for everything, unlike everybody else here in the Mushroom Kingdom. But, anyways, there's another star, like I was saying, the Switch star. This one you just get immediately after you get the... The red star. Oh, the, I said the red star. Oh, I wish. Imagine that if they did that. The red coins, they made them red stars. Differentiating the, the yellow stars from the red ones. You know, that way, every time you get a red star, it indicates that you beat a level's red coin mission, you know? But, uh, anyways, in other news, we actually started up uh, Super Mario 3D World up again on The Lost Boys. So, for those of you guys who were missing out on that, well, you can go out and check it because the first episode of the series is or actually the, the the returning episode is back and we're resuming it every day bowser is here what's up dude tough luck looks like princess toadstool isn't here oh really i didn't know that go ahead just grab me by my tail you'll never be able to swing me around is he giving away his plot a circle with the touch screen are you serious bowser you're pretty much impl you're telling me how to kill you dude you're 100 percent right i'm never going to be able to grab your tail i will not watch see oh, what did i say i'm not going to be able to grab his tail i'm going to do it again Come here, come here, give me the... What did I say, man? Bowser, you're just so good. You're just such an evil villain, man. Nobody can ever compare to you. Okay. Ooh, so long, Bowser. There we go. Like, just like that. Such an evil guy, man. I gotta say, I've never met any evil person just like... Look at him. What are you doing? Are you drowning? Are you... I, I think you're overdoing it, Bowser. You, you gotta chillax, dude. 
He's definitely overdoing it. I mean, come on, guys. You can vouch for me, right? He's 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 just playing it up because I, I bet he's just very upset that we beat him. Or in reality, he doesn't care just because he knows he has the princess and a ton of other stars and whatnot. But that is pretty ridiculous. You know, it takes eight stars to beat Bowser, and I have 39 stars. And I'm just beating Bowser for the first time. And I don't even think I beat everything 100% either, just because there are... I guess in each course, there's a star that I can't get due to the fact that I don't have, you know, that specific character to get the star. But it's pretty crazy how this game works, how you can get a ton of stars before even battling the first boss, which is nice. So now that we've got that and we got the key, we are good to make our way downstairs. Now, I've decided I'm just going to do, you know, half of Lethal Lava Land. Now, right now in the comment section below, I want you all to let me know what level... In the next episode, which will be tomorrow, that you want to see me do, I will save Luigi. That's something mandatory that we're going to do. And then we're going to just play whatever level with Luigi, just because, you know, he's going to be the brand new character. Spoilers, but let me know which level you want me to play in the next episode. I'm not going to do all of Lethal Lava Land. I'm going to probably do, like, you know, four stars, maybe, to make it six. Actually, I really don't know. Maybe, like, I, I really don't know. I'm going to just see how fast I can get through these. But, oh, we got some bunnies here. Uh, let me chase you down. Come here, come here, come here. I wonder what they'll give me. Oh, you know, they'll probably just give me, like, those, uh, those little key thingies. Dude, what are you doing, Bunny? Come back here! Oh, my. Oh, man. Oh, man, Bunny. You're, you're really... Ugh! You're a crazy dude. Come here! Okay, I don't know how to catch these bunnies, man, for the life of me. Even in the original game, I never would know how to grab them. Ever. It took me, like, ten minutes one time in one of my LPs in the original Super Mario 64 multiplayer video that I did. Uh, or, or videos that I did. It took a long time just to catch these guys, but in the end, they give you keys rather than stars. Now, these keys, you go to Princess Toadstool's rec room, and you could just play some mini games. Um, I, I don't really know how it works, honestly, because it's been so, so long since I've even done that. But yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and make our way straight into Lethal Lava Land. Screw you, bunny. I'm not gonna chase you. That's what he wants me. Boil the big bully. Okay. That's the first star on the list. Let's see. Uh, don't be a pushover. If anyone tries to shove you around, push back. It's one-on-one -on -one with the fiery end, uh, for the losers. What? What What are you condoning here? This is not okay. Don't... You shouldn't be a pushover, but I don't think fighting bullies is the answer to solving your bully problem. I mean, because right now, the way I see it, is we got a bully, but he's not really harming anybody, you know? He's just a bully on his own little island. And then we have Mario, who's the actual bully going to bully this bully because he's a bully. So somebody bigger should come bully Mario because he's a bully of a bully. And then it's just gonna be an ever-ending chain of bullies bullying bullies, making every single person a bully because your intention is to bully the bully, but then that makes you a bully, right? It's very weird. It's a strange concept, but we bullied a bully for a star. Nice. Now, you know, that would have sucked if I accidentally went underneath that platform. Mario, you're always so upset every single time I get a star. I don't know why. He should be happy. I mean, he looks like a baby whenever we get a star. Just like a sad baby with his pouting lip. Like, mm. And the star is also pretty upset with his eyebrows. Now, bully the bullies. So we went from bullying a bully to now bullying a group of other bullies. Oh, man, Mario. Uh, somebody needs to put an end to this. Somebody needs to stop this savage boy. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Nice. That was cool. I like that. You know, I, I didn't know I could do something like that without getting hit by fire, but I guess Mario can take uh, long, long jumps without ooh, any consequences. There we go. All right, come here. Ooh. Oh, you want to fight? You want to fight? I'm going to fight you, bullies. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ooh, there we go. Okay, come on. There we go. All right, one more. What? Oh, man. Dude, these, these little guys are tough. I'm not going to lie. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa. All right. You see that? That brute strength? Dude, that is way stronger than anything Mario could ever do. I'm just saying. Whoa, dude. Are you serious? You need to chillax, man. I'm only trying to help you out. I'm just trying to help you out. Just, just get in the lava. There you go. It looks like Louisiana hot sauce. I can't take this lava seriously. Every time I see it, it looks like hot sauce. But it actually rem You know, I'm, I'm going to say it, and you guys are probably going to get upset. But this also reminds me of Namek when it was exploding. I don't know why. You know, actually, I think I might have a reason why I know... Or why these things bring back, like, um, Dragon Ball Z memories. It's because when I was first playing this game, I was actually watching Dragon Ball Z at that exact time. Or whenever I would watch DBZ, I guess I was playing this game, not at the same, you know, time, but it was just like, 
I'd watch an episode of Dragon Ball Z and then I'd go play this game. So then I'd be playing this game and the only thing I'd think about would be, you know, Dragon Ball Z, if that makes sense. So I, I, I'm pretty sure that's probably where it's tied into, not the fact that, you know, this resembles, you know, Planet Namek when it's exploding. I mean, it kind of does. It's all fiery and whatnot, but that is not the case. But anyways, one of the easiest stars. I mean, this entire level is hands down so easy to, like, get through. Um, as you can see, this is the third star, and I'm already, like, done with it. All right, Mario, just give us a log jump. Give us a... Oh! Oh, we almost, we almost fell in the fire there, just for a second. And that would have sucked. But you know what, man? We prevailed. 42 stars, my friends. All right. So we're going to just do uh, one more. And then I'm probably going to go get a secret castle star. And then we're going to leave the rest for the next episode. Just so we can do eight in the next episode. I want to be able to do um, the rest of this. And then I'm going to do another whole entire level with Lewingus. So that way you guys get a long video. So you, because you guys definitely deserve it. But anyways... Uh, this star is also very easy. You can go about doing it a different way rather than doing it the way they intended it for you to do. The way they wanted you to do it is to go all the way around, get on that platform, make your way all the way over to this little area with the log, and then roll on the log until you get this, you know, to the area with the star. But you could just do it the way I did, where you have a wing cap and just cheap your way all the way over there, which is exactly the way everybody tends to do these things. Because nobody, nobody likes doing things the way they're intended to. Everybody likes shortcuts, man. But anyways, uh, one more star I'm going to get. It's actually a secret star. I, I don't even know if they're going to give me a star. If this Toad's going to... What's up, Toad? What's Gucci, man? It's been a minute. Even if all caps look alike... Oh, no. They're going to look the same. Okay, I don't even care what you want to say. Uh, if you lose your cap, you'll find something, something. Can I get my star? Yes! I was going to say, dude, there's no way you're not going to give me a star, man. Then that, this is not Super Mario 64 if this Toad doesn't give me a star. I'm just saying. No hate against you, Toad, but you needed to give me that. Once again, Mario, you're so angry. I don't know why he's so angry whenever he picks up these stars. Just be happy that you're getting some stars, man. But yeah, uh, one last thing I want to do before I leave you guys is get that bunny again. I, I want to make sure I have all of the bunnies. In oh, wait, what? They're both running now? What? Why are you running? I thought I, I don't even know which one is the one that I grabbed. I guess we'll find out. Let's see. Oh, I'm a horrible rabbit grabber. That's that's what I'm called now. A horrible rabbit grabber. Thank you so much. All right. So I'm going to go grab your other friend. He's probably not going to be as mean to me, but it's, oh, dude, that's so weird. It's much easier than it was in Super Mario 64, but at the same time, it's a lot more. It's still difficult for me to grab these guys. I just got lucky there, by the way. He just so happened to run into me as I dived into him. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. And I can't wait to see you all tomorrow for another exciting episode of Super Mario 64. Goodbye.